Welcome back. The objective of this video is to look at what is an annuity and then secondly look at the equation that we use to work out annuity that's present value as well as future value and thirdly how we can do this, the exact same thing using interest rate tables. Okay, So the first thing we're going to look at is what is an annuity? An annuity is just simply a series of exact same cash flow. So that means for every period, for some period of time, you get the exact same amount of money. So whether that would be a payment or a revenue, you always get the same amount. That's the key thing with what we define as an annuity. So if let's say at time three, you don't get A, you get like two A, then this is no longer an annuity and you cannot use the formulas or the interest rate table columns that I will demonstrate later to work out the present value or the future values. So the first thing we'll look at is present value. So how do we work out the present value of some series of cash flow? Okay, so you can always look at each period and discount it back to time zero and you can work out the present value that way. Otherwise, you can just use this formula, P equal A bracket 1 minus 1 plus R to the power of minus N all over R. And A is the consistent payment, R is the interest rate, and N is the time period. Take note that for working out present value, our N is, to, is a minus, not positive, as we usually have seen. Okay. If the reverse situation occurs and we have been given the present value, the interest rate and the period of time and we want to distribute this evenly over this time, we can rearrange the present value formula so that we can get the annuity amount. Okay. And one thing to note with working out present value of an annuity is the first annuity payment is always one period from present time. So if this is time zero, the first annuity payment is always at time one. Okay, let's look at future values now. Okay, so the difference between present value and future value is when we work out future value, we find it at the last payment. So we don't find the future value at period five is always at period four. So at the time of the last payment, when we use this F equal A bracket one plus R to the N minus one all over R. So here in this situation, we see that the N is a positive. So it's important not to get the two mixed up. Okay. And similarly, we can just rearrange the formula for future value to work out an annuity amount if we have the future value, the interest rate, and the period of time. Okay. Understand that for some people, this equation seems a bit long and a bit hard to remember. So I recommend them using the interest rate table because they're very straightforward and easy to understand. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go through how we can use the interest rate table to determine um, the present value of an annuity and so forth. Okay, so in the textbook at the interest rate column, there is one column where it says for a given annuity amount, and we know the interest rate and the number of period, we can work out the present value. Okay, so that's the column. Similarly, for future value, we can do the exact same thing. Finding future value given an annuity and an I interest rate and the period of time. Okay, all we do with all the other, other example, we just find what this factor is and we times the annuity by it. Okay, on the other hand, if we have, we want to find an annuity amount for a given present value, there is also a column in the interest rate table that does that for us, where it says, when given the present value, the interest rate and the period of time, we can determine a discounting factor to our present value in order to work out what is the annuity amount per period. And similarly, for future value. So here is 
finding A, finding annuity, when given the future value, the interest rate, and the period of time. So by using these formulas or the interest rate table, you will be able to work out a series of cash flow. And in my next video, I'm gonna go through an example showing how, how all this work using both the formula and the interest rate table. And after the next video, you should be confident doing present value, future value of um, single payment as well as a series of payment. And from that point on, it will just be a combination of all these things into determining present value and future value. Thank you.